okay let's implement signal at chat hub so let's go to explorer and let's open solution explorer inside api let's create and inside hubs let's create class let's source for class and here set up let's add here authorize attribute and here let's inherit from hub this hubs comes from microsoft.asp.net core.signalr library okay let's inject here user manager the manager and pass here app user and also inject app db context this is our primary constructor inside here let's declare concurrent dictionary here let's declare public static read only concurrent dictionary and let's pass here a string and online user dto currently we don't have online user dto let's create online user dto class inside details let's create file search for class and here paste online user dto let's add here some property of string id let's make it nullable and prop tab another one string connection id prop tab username of type string and full name of type string another one profile picture of type string and another boolean variable public bool is online let's say public int on read count let's close it and go to chat hub let's import control dot and using api dot details let's override unconnected async method public override async and inside here let's declare context context dot get http context and let's get here receiver id from query http context dot request dot query let's id dot to string and another variable context dot context dot user dot identity identity dot name current user avoid user manager dot find name find name async and pass your username set if online user dot content key username then online user and let's add username here connection id let's declare connection id here and from context dot connection id let's add dot connection id here for let's declare user here user and new online user dt let's add here connection id connection id and username profile image let's make it profile picture close it and add here profile picture get from current user dot profile image and finally let's add full name current user dot full name now let's add online users let's try it username and username and current user and await clients dot accept connection id dot send async pass here notify and current user and here let's await and clients dot all dot send async online users and await get all users get all users let's create get all user method let's control dot and generate get user method and let's implement get all users let's add here i enumerable online user dt let's declare variable username context user dot get username let's create one extension method let's add here folder extensions let's add a class new file source for class and class and claims principle extensions and let's make it static let's create method public static string get username let's pass here 
this claim principle claims principle this claim principle and user let's control click and import our username user dot find first value as first claims type claim types dot name username then let's throw new exception get username return username return username or we can return from here let's return from here and let's create another extension method class uh, public static string get user id let's pass a claims principal user for user id with dot parse user dot find first value let's pass a claims claim types dot name identifier otherwise let's throw through new exception cannot get user id immediately we can return from here return let's rename this guid let's make it guid let's close it and here let's control dot and using api extension let's declare variable online users set and new has set of type string and here let's pass online users dot keys this whole online users key and here let's load user with their last message so users avoid user manager dot users dot select let's select you goes to new online user detail let's pass add id u dot id username u dot username full name u dot full name profile picture u dot profile picture is online let's add here online user set dot contains u dot user i username if it contain username then it return true let's say on read count context dot messages dot count x goes to x dot receiver id receiver id equal to username x dot sender id equal to u dot id and not x dot is read let's order by descending user u dot is online to list async or let's return here users okay let's implement send message method let's add public async task send message let's add a message request to and message let's create this class let's create message request to class go to details and new file source for class and message re message request to let's add here id prop tab and string sender id prop tab string receiver id and prop tab string contain prop tab pool is read prop tab and let's add here date time and created date let's add here let's declare sender id context dot user dot identity dot name let's add recipient recipient id message dot receiver id let's create new message and here let's add sender await user manager dot find name async let's pass here sender id receiver await user manager dot find by id async let's pass here recipient id and is read let's make it false now and create a date let's make it date time dot utc now and content message dot content let's save message first context dot messages dot add new message and await context dot save change async let's make it add and await clients clients let's await client dot user let's pass a recipient id dot send async let's add receive receive new message receive new me receive new message and our new message save it and let's implement another method which notify typing let's declare public async method async task notify typing recipient username 
var sender username context user dot identity dot name and let's check if sender username is null then let's return it return otherwise var connection id online user values dot first or default x goes to x dot username equal to recipient username dot connection id let's check if connection id is not null then let's re await client dot client let's pass a connection id and send async notify typing to user notify typing to user and let's add sender name override on disconnect method public override on disconnect async let's copy this line and paste here let's say online users dot try remove username let's may rename this username and pass here username out we don't need anything out let's make it underscore let's it let's await and clients dot all dot send async let's send online users and let's pass here await get all users let's save it okay let's implement load messages method here let's create public async task load messages let's pass a string recipient id and integer page number page number by default let's add one and here let's initialize page size by default 10 let's add here let's define page size 10 and var username let's add here context dot user identity dot name let's get current user from user manager find by name async let's pass username and check for current user if current user is null then return immediately list of message response did you messages and let's add here await context dot messages first of all let's declare this message response detail let's inherit from message request detail and let's filter here dot where receiver id is equal to current user id and sender id current id current user id and receiver id recipient id dot order by descending x dot created date dot escape let's keep page number minus one multiply by page size dot let's take page size and order by created date and select new message response detail message response detail pass here id id content created date receiver id sender id and to list async let's iterate message for is message in messages context dot messages first or default let's pass here x dot id equal to message dot id check for if message is not null message dot receiver let's add a messages let's add first or default async and receiver id equal to current id then let's say message dot is read true and await context dot Sync. Let's await 
client dot user current user dot id dot send async receive message list and pass messages here and let's call this let's call this method inside unconnected async and here let's check if not a string dot is null or empty receiver id then let's await load messages let's pass a receiver id save it let's close it